Hey, welcome back to Podcast for Your Life, where we share thoughts from our life for yours in less than 15 minutes. Also, I'm specifically back. I was gone last week. Mm-hmm. We have a pretty cool new series called Brothers for Your Life, but and I wasn't here last time, but I heard you had a pretty good co-host, yeah, Jason. Yeah, pretty great. Is there some sort of connection you guys have? Or? Yeah, we're uh, related by blood, Oh, um, but that was that was about it. Right, nice. Just like, kind of like a loose sort of yeah. connection there. Today we're going to talk about, thoughts about, salads. Sounds great. Let's dig in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dig in. <laughs> what? That was funnier than I expected it to be. Oh, really? Okay. Thanks. All right. So, Jason, what is a salad? What makes a salad a salad? That's a great question, Jim. I think that a salad is a pile of edible foods. So you think that's the only definition of salad? I think if we really drill down to the nitty gritty, I I think that it's just a pile of food. Interesting. It's a pile of food that's just kind of mushed together. And we can get more into the details about that. But I really think that there is a pretty good diverse range of foods that can be solidified okay I, salad if I, oh, nice okay i would disagree okay i would say it's similar but i think the majority of the stuff in the salad has to be plant-based okay not necessarily like lettuce or spinach or something but plant-based okay and it, i think what makes it a salad isn't just the pileness of it although that's pretty important it's also that it has to be a hodgepodge of different things sure i think what makes salad salad at its core is the fact that it's a mixture of many things. And so I, I think um, the reason I'd counter yours is because you could have, in your case, you could have a pile of only one thing and call it a salad. And I think the biggest aspect of a salad is the fact that it's mixed up. This episode might be the most technical definition of a salad you never thought you'd hear. Or want. Or want. <laughs> Um, so, but I, I, so I appreciate you disagreeing. Okay. Again, I'm going for the 30,000 foot view. Yeah. You're getting to like the 10, maybe 15,000 foot view. Yeah. Yes, I would agree. The common idea of a salad usually involves vegetables, fruit, toppings of some sort. Yes. But there are, there's a lot of places you can go with salad that maybe it's not the formal salad, but they use the term salad in the recipe name or okay. on the menu. What's do you, do you have an example off the top of your head? Yes, I do. Okay. Shrimp salad. Ooh. Mhm. Yep, so it's it's shrimp mixed with like mayonnaise. It's basically like chicken salad. It's oh, like Oh my It's goodness. like chicken, but it's mixed up with a couple of things. A few of those things are plant-based veggies, but a lot of it is like mayonnaise and you yeah, know you're right. people add nuts and and grapes and stuff. So, shrimp salad, chicken salad, does right. that make it not really a salad? And if so, what do we call these things? Tuna salad. Yeah, you're right. Tuna to, salad. To me, those would be, yeah, those are commonly called salad, yep. and yet they are very, very, you know, not much plants going on in there. Unless you're plant feeding those shrimp. Right. Yep. Then I guess you could go back to Dang, plant-based. Dang, it's kind of like they're an outlier, because it is also, <laughs> yeah. the tough thing about it is that when you when you say chicken salad... It, it also, it, it most time comes in the form of a sandwich. Sure. So while it's called chicken Could salad, be. it's common way of being served is on bread then. Could be. Which, Shrimp salad, not as much. Okay, well, can we agree that those seem to be outliers? Okay, whether they're or not, outliers. Whether or not they're salads, they're sort of, they're definitely on the fringe of what we would consider a salad. Okay, so if we're drawing the line at plant-based stuff, your traditional spring mix lettuce based salad what about fruit salad would that be an outlier mm-hmm. too no well see so I, I was including fruit salad into my previous because statement it's plant based it's plant based plant. yeah it's plant based wow and fruit salad is such a common you know no one's really so is chicken salad <laughs> i know it's very common you're right but <laughs> but i hear you fruit salad um it doesn't seem like it's breaking rules to me. I just don't know. I don't know why, but it doesn't feel like it's breaking any rules. So if if the if fruit salad is a salad on the salad spectrum, on a scale of one to salad, where would you place it? If fruit salad is on the, the spectrum. The salad spectrum, yeah. On a scale of one to... One to salad. Okay. I'd say it's a solid six. Okay. Yeah. And it's, then chicken salad would be like a three, maybe a two. Yeah, three or two. Okay. Yeah, definitely low. Fair enough. Yeah. Sweet. So where where do we draw that line? I think we 
yeah, I think we draw it on what's like the common idea of a salad. Like the okay. first thing that pops into your mind. Yeah. Again, this could be just an American thing, but I think if you go around the world, there are going to be a lot of places who they kind of know, okay, this is the common mm -hmm. understanding of salad. Yeah. When we were in Greece uh, for a mission trip uh, a year ago, we would always ask for a Greek salad. Oh, we'd love to have a Greek salad with our meal. And in Greece, if you say a Greek salad, you get a cucumber, tomato, feta cheese, oregano, basil sort of a thing. Yeah. So that to me is like, I would call that a cucumber salad, not a Greek salad. What I was thinking of is like lettuce with feta cheese and olives and tomatoes. Yeah. For them, a salad wasn't lettuce based. Right. And I think here in America, salads are like you go to your ruby tuesdays yeah do they still have those you go to your ruby tuesdays and you start with the lettuce or spring mix and that's your that's your first option and then everything else is just toppings you could you but could argue greece. that the people in greece might be the best interpreters of the words greek salad yeah just you know saying like <laughs> exactly. i think they might know their stuff when it comes yeah, to but like here if you <laughs> if you go to a greek restaurant and you get a salad they give you like the lettuce salad yeah so there you have to go and you have to be like I would like a lettuce salad, please. Uh -huh. And then they give you exactly what they give you in the States. So, again, yeah, it's it's all, you know, it's going to be relative to where you um, where you live or where you grew up. But I think the common worldwide understanding of salad is that it involves lettuce or spring mix yeah. or, um, I mean, kale or cabbage as the base. Right. Toppings, vegetables, all that stuff's on top. Yeah, let us. That's what we would draw the line. Let us eat salad, you know? Let us let us continue on with our discussion and ask why. Why do people eat salad? Okay, that's a good question. I think the number one deal is it's seemingly healthy. We know that's not always, you know, they can, some salads can be healthier than others. They're seemingly healthy. They are, in general, even if they have a lot of stuff on them, they're a lighter meal. I think, I think you could argue. Like, they're just, like, less dense. There's not as much going on compared to, like, you know, having a heavier, like, a burger or something. So, you could, you know, people might want it if they are less hungry. Or people might just like vegetables and stuff. And because most salads are mostly vegetables, mm -hmm. if someone's wanting that, you know, in their stomach, then a salad's a great option instead of just, like, eating a whole carrot or something. yeah and that's what it gets back to is there's two ways that you can approach maybe the origin of salad one is somebody just loved all these different vegetables and fruits or whatever or just vegetables and they put them all together and like man this is great all this like combination of flavors or yeah you get somebody who just didn't like individual like oh, i'm so sick of eating this head of cabbage yeah itself and oh i don't like carrots by themselves but then they put them together and maybe they had dressing, maybe they didn't, let's say they didn't, mm -hmm. and then they had a salad, and they were like, wow, yeah. this tastes so much better when you put all these veggies together. Yeah, better together. and that's Better a, together. Yeah. Salad. We're better together. That's, yeah, that's pretty interesting. I'm not, who knows where it came from? Although, well, you know, I think diets were much more plant heavy back in the day, yeah. so I bet they got, they had to get creative with how to mix up these plants, you know, yeah. and eat them. So surely it was an early solution like let's mix these things up let's just make it gives a little bit of variety in our plant-based yeah diet if you think about it you could also view like a vegetable soup as like a salad with broth yeah a salad a cooked salad well, a cooked salad wow yeah so um, you used to eat salad a lot here didn't you that's true i used to not be big on salad it was like i kind of felt like sometimes salads aren't that much more affordable but they do feel like less filling or something and i hadn't had any like mind-blowing salads in my life or whatever um, so I wasn't wanting to go for salads. I would eat like a side salad or eat a free, you know, appetizer salad if, if it came with a meal. But here at our work, at one point, the smaller sized salad in the cafe downstairs it used to be $3. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Amazing. And so I was, it was like the best bang for your buck because they give you this plastic container mm -hmm. that's small. Stuff it. And you just stuff it and, um. Fill it up. One of my other coworkers and I had kind of figured out that you can sort of build the salad <laughs> yeah. upside down in the container and stuff it in there. So the last thing you're putting is tons in, of the lettuce and spinach and whatever yeah. other combos. It's flexible. And, and you stuff it in there and then we'd bring it upstairs and then dump it on a plate. 
and then it's right side up. It was amazing which to watch great. you guys do that because like yeah. you would you would come upstairs with this little container that's like the size of your hand and you dump it onto this huge plate and it just like expands. <laughs> it was like Mary Poppins bag, you know. It's like Mary Poppins bag, that's right? <laughs> yeah. And so I used to have a salad for lunch almost every day, and so nice. I started hashtag salad for lunch, Whoa. which was when I would you know be having a salad Trendy. at lunch and I'd tweet or Instagram about it. But then, at a certain point, they raised the price of uh, the salad to $4. And for some reason, that distinction from 3 to 4 and it, they took away the option of adding meat to mm. it. You had to pay another extra dollar for meat. Mm. So you'd end up being, you know, I'd be paying for, suddenly I'd be paying $5 for the same thing I used to get for 3 It's sad. It was very sad. And so I stopped getting the salad for lunch each day. But I kept up the hashtag salad for lunch on all of my yeah. Instagram posts. Just in general. Just in general. Because if you go look at hashtag salad for lunch, there's all these photos of salad. And then there's my photos yeah. also. So <laughs> it's, it's just like, great. oh, a guy's shins. Okay, <laughs> yeah. interesting. Yeah. It's just totally, yeah, it's great. So it was a way of like having my own hashtag that wasn't really my own, but it was clear when I was using it and when others were. Yep. Because my stuff was no longer salad. And that was kind of my the rise and fall of my most intense time of relationship wow. with salad in my life thus far. That's a that's a really interesting rise and fall. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think salad is great, and I've had many a salad, uh, even the outlier salads. But there is a point where I feel like salad does become unhealthy. Oh, like yeah. most of the time, I think people eat salad because it's like vegetables. Right. You know? and a lot of people like dressing. So they're like, okay, well, I don't love vegetables, but at least it's drowned in this white sauce. Yeah. <laughs> so when does, when does a salad become unhealthy? I think it gets unhealthy pretty fast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I think the dressing itself can be where it gets unhealthy. Like sure. I think, like you said, people put a lot of it. I think it starts to cancel things out. Now, I don't know that our bodies actually work that way. I don't know if things actually just cancel out like that. <laughs> but I think it does drastically decrease the, how healthy the, the meal is. And when you add like a lot of cheese or a lot of like meat or something. And so I always tried to have as little dressing as I could possibly do that would that would get at least uh, mixed around thoroughly yeah. in salad without overwhelming everything. Mm -hmm. But then you'll see salads like, like a, a Cobb salad, for instance, is like... That's a uh, basically a casserole or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and but they're they're supposedly like really good. I don't know if I've even had one honestly, but they just seem like there's so much going on. Yeah. There's like like several kinds of meat. Mm -hmm. There's like all kinds of Eggs, stuff. Egg. Cheese. Yeah. Man, seriously. So to me, it's bordering. It, yeah, it's, it's bordering. definitely on the line. It might still be healthier than a burger, but some of them salads, they make you question like, hmm, yeah. I don't know. Well, a lot of dressings are just, are, are so much packed into one bottle, like so much uh, unhealthy stuff, unless you get like light dressing or something. Yeah. And it depends on the dressing, totally depends on the dressing. But like ranch dressing, I think is up there in an unhealthiness. Maybe one of the more unhealthy ones. I was in private school for a couple years in elementary school and our school had lunches um, oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, it was it was pretty unique. One of the lunches, actually, I think weekly, the lunch of Wednesdays was salad bar. Uh-huh. So, you know, you pay your, your couple dollars, and you go to the cafeteria, and they have a salad bar, and it's just, like, super great. Every Wednesday, kids take a break from their pizza and chicken nuggets, and, all, hey, all you got is, is salad bar. But a lot of the kids didn't like salad, and on top of that parents made stuff for the salad bar it was kind of like this smaller school so like mm -hmm. parents would actually make like baked goods yeah so there were like chocolate bread and chocolate pudding and like pepperoni and like just cookies and stuff and so kids would fill up their plate with that stuff and have like a couple of tomatoes on the side. <laughs> <laughs> me i i definitely took a couple of those cookies as well but i definitely was one of the kids who had a fuller plate on salad wednesdays yeah compared to compared to that so. <laughs> and one thing i actually enjoyed with the salad bar yeah was pepperoni and chocolate pudding weird most people think it's disgusting but let me tell you I think you should try it. That's I'll, all I'm going to say. I'll tell you this. I, I definitely think that's not a salad at that point. It's not, but like if you're <laughs> at the salad bar and you're like getting stuff. So what's the what's the verdict on salads? How do you feel? I, I feel great. Thanks for asking. I think that salads are great. I think that people should eat salad. It should be part of your normal diet. 
and experiment. If you don't like vegetables, try something else. Yeah. Vegetables are better together. Try it out. Yep. Also, one final thought. Uh, ranch dressing is a salad dressing and nothing else. Good night. Well, thanks, Jam. That is not controversial at all. So we will see you guys next time. Thanks for listening. Hashtag salad for lunch. <laughs>